Hello everyone, Mr. John here from Air Team Institute with this week's Thursday tidbit where we're going to be talking about a theorem for circles called power of a point. Let's jump right in. So the power of a point theorem is talking about two chords that intersect inside a circle as shown below. So in this case, we're going to look at two chords intersecting at this point E. And we have our two chords intersecting at that point. They could intersect outside of the circle. There's a very similar formula for the case where the chords intersect outside of that circle. But we're going to look at the one special case where this happens inside the circle. And the conclusion we have is that we know something about the distances. So AE times BE is equal to CE times DE. The key thing here is you're looking at lengths and we have the product of the different portions of each chord. All right, so we have AE and BE, so that's our first chord, and the product of those two lengths is equal to the product of the other two lengths of the other chord in that case. So this is always going to be true and this is our power of a point. It's a very, very useful theorem for circles. We're not gonna to do too much about a proof for this, but a lot of things that happen inside circles all rely on triangles and similar triangles. So try to think about similar triangles, right? This product A, E, B, E, C, E, D, E should remind you if you manipulate it a little bit of some similar triangle things so I recommend you try to look at that and see what you can come up with for a proof by yourself. And let us know if you have questions in the comments below. I do, however, want to look at an example here. So let's suppose we have a circle with a radius of 8. We have two radii AO and BO, and they are actually perpendicular. And we have this chord then AC. So we start to see the setup of power of a point here a little bit, and we're asked about lengths, right? There's a lot of other theorems or facts about angles, right? Arcs and angles in a circle, but power of a point is more focused on the lengths involved. And we have some other special stuff happening because we have radii, right? Radiuses, and also we know we have a right angle here. So let's start labeling our diagram with some of the information we're given. So the circle has a radius of 8, so we know that AO is equal to 8. We are given that DO is equal to 6. That was given to us. Well, since BO is a radius as well, this tells us that BD is 2. We are looking for CD, so let's call that length here maybe X. And we also can think about AD. Well, wait a second. Here's our perpendicular chords. So AOD is a right triangle there. And if you remember your Pythagorean triples or Pythagorean theorem, 6 squared plus 8 squared is 10 squared. So we know that AD is 10 right off the bat. So this is just basic facts about our kind of radius perpendicular angles, so we have a right triangle, Pythagorean theorem gives us that AB is 10. So we have pretty much everything we are looking for in terms of our lengths except for CD. So now we have to try to find CD, and of course we're going to do that with power of a point. Now, let's do it in the wrong way first because this is a common error. So we have our chord C, A, C. So we say here, okay, let's look at A, D times C, D. So we have A, D times C, D. And a lot of the mistakes people might make is that they'll say that this is B, D times D, O. So we have our two chords there. We look at their product and we try to find the solution from there. But this is not true because remember here, BO is a radius. It's not a chord. 
So in fact, right, to look at this, we need to extend it. We can make that radius into a chord. Let's maybe label this point over here E. So that's our kind of next letter we have available. And now we can have two intersecting chords. Our first chord, of course, is AC. So that part does not change there at all. But we need to be careful with that second chord. Because when we're looking at that chord there, we need to have BE all the way across. So because this is a radius, this isn't really a problem there. We know that this other distance is 8 as a radius as well. EO is a radius. So that is 8 and DE then has length 14. So the correct relationship here, nothing changes with the AD times CD. So that portion is the same. So the length of AD times the length of CD. But now this needs to be the product of BD times DE. This is the full chord now we are looking at there. So everything now is just an equation to solve. 10 times CD, which is our variable X, is BD. 2 times DE, which is 14. So 10X equals 28. X is 28 over 10. And just so we have right a number in this case that kind of is a little bit easier to work with, Normally we might like fractions, but let's say here x is 2.8 in this scenario. So now we have solved for our mystery distance. That is our CD in this example. So this is a good example using power of a point and avoiding a common problem or kind of mistake people make by trying to apply it to something that's not actually a core. Now, this was a geometry problem. If you liked this problem and our example problem here, I would recommend you join us this summer for our online math camp. We learn a lot of good knowledge in middle school and high school math, and we do have one week dedicated to all the different tricks and tips and problem solving in geometry. So don't worry about your level. We have different groups based on kind of whether you're in middle school or high school, just starting out in math competitions and extracurricular math or more advanced in that, right? We'll place you in the right group. And so you can have a lot of fun interacting with other students, solving problems and learning a lot along the way this summer. So check out the link in the description below and hopefully you will join us for our camp this summer. As always, check back each Thursday for a new tidbit. If you liked this video, consider subscribing below, right? Check out the playlist of all the other tidbits if you missed any, and I will see you guys all next Thursday. Goodbye.